Hello, Backers Club. I'm Lauren Cardinal, and I play Sergeant Davis Quinton. How you doing? What it's like being back after six years, it's uh, pretty fantastic. It was so great to see uh, everyone again. Everyone, I'm glad everyone signed up and is, is back. And it was surprising how, uh, how quickly we found our stride, which was kind of, uh, it was great and scary at the same time. <laughs> Yeah, I've worked with Graham on a few projects over the years. I've known him since, uh, well, after his Oscar nomination. <laughs> and I worked with him on uh, other series, Jake and the Kid and Lonesome Dove and, and different things. So it's, uh, and we did a couple of theater workshops uh, as well together. So I, I've known him, he's one of the uh, mentors in my, in my life, you know, people who, uh, who set the bar and you just try and... So it was a great honor to, to sit in a boat with him and have some laughs. The way it was uh, written, I remember reading, uh, reading the first draft of the script and really liking it and laughing out loud in public. I guess in Toronto it's not looked upon. <laughs> you seem kind of like a homeless person or something. I was talking, laughing to myself and people were giving me the look. And... But uh, yeah, it totally read that way, that he was in charge and I, had, and I was in charge of a flighty rookie. And, uh, and then on our first day of filming, I met Tara Spencer Nairn for the first time outside our condos. And uh, I'd seen her in a movie that she was in before, uh, New Waterford Girl, one of my favorite movies. And, uh, and it took me a while to recognize her. And then we started talking and we decided to walk to the studio from the condos. And on the walk, I was just talking. We were getting to know each other, just getting a sense. And then we did a reading for Brent and a couple of the producers to see our chemistry together because I did an audition with her. And, uh, and somehow in our walk through over we went over the lines a few times and somehow we just managed to flip it where she was the down-to-earth grounded rookie and I was the flighty sergeant and it, they seemed to like it and it was, e it was easier that way. <laughs> she's her own, she's an incredibly talented actor herself and it's been uh, to be part of someone's life doing this show it's, it's pretty, uh, it's, it's a gift you know and now she's got She's got one little, one little dude, Foster, who's a brilliant little boy, and uh, she's got another one on the way, and, uh, and, and it's great to, uh, just to, to be hanging out with her again, because she is a spark plug. I totally love her. Comedy has uh, been a big thing in my whole life. It's, it's one of those things I always go back to, because it just helps with a lot of different things that I've grown up in and stuff. So, uh, um, but I do other things. I, I, I'm a classically trained uh, Shakespearean actor from the U of A, so I do... Uh, I, Lear was my last time on stage. I was uh, Albany and assistant directing, and uh, I'm also making a documentary of that experience as well with Augie Schellenberg, was our King Lear. So I, I do that, and I do, uh, you know, uh, Sam Shepard and uh, Brecht. Uh, I, I, I can do a whole, a whole range of different characters, so... That's what I love doing after doing something like Davis where it's fun and it's light and, and uh, it's, it's good comedy and and then I, I'll, I'll go to the, uh, I'll find something that's totally different because I don't let a, like to get pigeonholed or stereotyped into one type of acting. So it's hard to convince everyone else though. <laughs> I was born in uh, northern Alberta, High Prairie. Okay, so cool. Well, Saskatchewan is just kind of a, it's, it's more of a, a, a sign of the rest of the country, because we're such a huge country spread out. There are so many small towns in all the provinces, and I think that's why that we've um, touched so many people across this country is because it's a small town story, and there are so many people. I get I get comments when I was living in Toronto. I'd be standing in the corner, and someone would recognize me, and uh, I'd ask them. I said, "So you live in Toronto?" And they go, "Yeah." And I said, "So why do you like it?" And they say, "Because well, I'm from small town Ontario, and it reminds me of home." And uh, so we get that a lot, that, even uh, as far as Cape Breton. Um, I went to the Cape Breton airport right there and all the security guys recognized me and they were quite uh, enthused about the show because it reminds them of small town uh, you know, Nova Scotia, small town Cape Breton. They were so excited they had me frisk them. <laughs> Hello, Brent here. Hey, if you want to see more videos like this, make sure you click that subscribe button and don't forget to click the little bell notification too. That way you'll always be alerted whenever we're posting a new video. All right then.